Yo, what is up guys? I'm back with another reaction. This time it's episode 2 of Arcane. And I'm pretty hyped to get into this episode. It's been almost a week since I started it. And uh, I've been hyped ever since. I cannot wait to see where this show takes us, where it goes. Uh, anyway, last episode we meet the sisters Vi and Powder. Or should I say Jinx maybe, right? Blue hair. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, we meet these sisters and they go with their, I think it's like adopted brothers, right? Um, Milo and Clagger. And they go to the, this pilt over uh, penthouse or apartment or something like that. And they, they are gonna rob the place, right? And it goes... Uh, it goes okay, right? Until... Um, until Powder destroys one of these crystals when they flee, when the owner comes back, right? And it's actually make the whole apartment explode uh, and when they get back home the whole undercity already know about it right and damn like vander is not happy about it and he has to kind of like you know fix it for them right uh, grabbing some stuff and you know acting as this is what they stole right um we also see the enforcers actually follow them down there starting to question Vander, like, apparently Vander has brokered some kind of deal with them up there, right, to to kind of like, you know, keep it, the, everything in control, right, and Vander is not about to give up the kids, so, you know, he just get, gets this, like, cylinder that can contact the enforcer lady, right, um, we will see if he ever does that, maybe he comes up with some other, you know, thug that he can give up, right, uh, we also, in the end of the episode, meets, uh, I cannot remember the name, but, but I, I'm not sure we got the name actually, but we meet like, I think what is the main boss or villain or whatever you can say, and he's apparently testing some kind of uh, drug uh, on animals right now, right, and he, he kind of wants to start the testing on humans, I think, and he tells us that someone just volunteered, and I'm guessing it's this boy that fucked up with Y and Powder when they came back, right? But we will see. Anyway guys, let's get into this episode, but before we do, if you haven't seen, you can become a member of my channel, so please check that out. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, you can even hit the bell, and don't miss out on anything I do. Even live a life. I would appreciate it. Let's go! Here we go guys, episode 2 of Arcane. Oh, Caitlin! I know her! A little danger is worth the risk, don't Jace you? as well! Okay, I know these characters! That's pretty right, cool! Careful. That's your parents' money you're dropping. Hello? Oh, shit, 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 shit! This is freaking cool already! Like, Vi and Powder are in the on the other side of the door. They're in their apartment. So it's Jace's apartment, apparently. Or Caitlin's, whatever, right? Like, I mean... They are in there right now, so we're seeing it from his side of the, <laughs> the the coin. Like that is pretty sick. Okay, let's keep going here. Is someone in there? Hey, open up! Oh, this is the way the crystal is, is destroyed. Oh, he's actually knocked out. Or almost, maybe. Oh, shit, he saw by. Before passing out, okay. Damn, that is cool already. So, from exploding apartment to very cold weather. Where is this like, um, I know about Frilliard, right? And they, they are living in the snowy area, so maybe, right? Ah, oh, shit, are they not gonna show us? No, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, let's just show up there. Okay, never mind. Look at 
that. That looks so cool. Um, apparently saving their life. So, where are we now? It's like a... Kind of like, kind of like, almost like the stone that... That Powder found, right? Just a little bit different. So what does this mean? Let's go over it again. You have to believe me. I didn't do this. Relax, kid. We know it was a break-in. Okay, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same girl that came to the city, right? A lot of restricted items here, and I don't see any permits. You want to tell me how you got them? Hey, hey, but be careful with that, please. I believe someone should have said that earlier. What happened here? Science, I guess. Last time, I science. Said, science didn't require illegal equipment. Nor was this approved by the academy. Who authorized your research? It was an independent study. Who are you anyway? I'm assistant to the dean of the academy. Who it may serve you to remember is also head of the council. He sent me here to ensure that anything dangerous is removed. <laughs> the powder already took care of that, right? List includes you. What? How am I dangerous? Yeah, that's for the council to decide. Okay, so he, Jesus, Jace is actually in trouble, like for having these, you know, crystals or illegal quit equipment, right? Okay, so it was, wow. Okay, so it was Jace that was saved by by that mage or whatever it was, sorcerer, right? Like. Because you had the stone, right? It was the same stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the same stone, right? I know this guy you also. What a curious this people. is... Uh, you can find the physical... Uh, Heimerding, Heimerding, there, 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 there we go, conundrum. right? He's the one that built the turrets. I remember the first time I saw you at the academy. You reminded me of myself, a scientist, ready to forge a new vector of experimentation. Damn, he looks good! We venture too far. No great science should ever put lives in danger. Be honest now. What manner of inquiry was this? Professor Heimerdinger, I... I was right. I discovered something truly incredible. A way to harness magic through science. Harness magic, magic through yes. science? No. No? The arcane is dangerous, Jace. The arcane? Force of nature. Science cannot control it. But maybe it can. I'm close to a breakthrough, I know it. How old are you, my boy? I'm... I'm 24. 24? Uh, I am now 307 years old. <laughs> okay. All my life, Listen I've to me, the you young pup. Of science, only to discover some are better left unsolved. This, I'm afraid, is one of them. Mm, oh, so maybe Hammerdinger already tried what Jace was, was up to. But speak nothing of magic. Do that, and I theorize you'll get away with, um, how do you say, a slap on the wrist. Okay, so he is actually trying to help Jace out of this uh, predicament. Why already boxing before he gets the gloves? Right, you know those Remind big electronic gloves he has? Vander said to lay low. Enforcers never come down here, so this is as good a place as any. Oh, what's the matter, Milo? You worried Powder's gonna beat you again? Hey, if she didn't keep fixing these things, I wouldn't keep missing. Yeah, 
Yeah, 100% jinx. <laughs> you guys know I wouldn't take you on a job you couldn't handle, right? Are you kidding? That was the best job we've ever done. Maybe just don't take powder next time. Watch, watch me. She's gonna be really good at this. <laughs> nice, but it's awesome. Get back. Tell me why. Okay, so they're here looking Tough again. Outside of business ain't my concern. It's every one of you trenches concerned now. Give me a name. You don't know, like. <laughs> You're going in the slammer, dude. Hey guys, you should see this. <laughs> they know now. They know now. You better get out of there. Oh shit, man. Shit, shit, shit. Search them. Because they are looking for four kids, right? Go ahead, idiots. We got nothing. Ooh, why didn't you hide those? Let's go! With her, right? She, they were done. Steady is stagnant, Alora. They wished me to remind you that it's thanks to their innovations that you are the richest person in Piltover. Ah, oh, yet I remain the poorest Madonna. What of today's trial? His name is Jace of House Talis. A house? Remind me. Ah, uh, so he's going like he's going to a council as Hamadin said, right? Collapsible pocket wrench. Huh. But Hamadinger favors him? As far as I can tell. This one. That's it, it, well, that's a child's toy. <laughs> Good. The boy's got ambition. It's why we supported him in the first place. Ambition? Darling, he nearly blew up our daughter. Jace had nothing to do with that. He was robbed. Caitlin. We need to help. And the hat. Her. Caitlin's right. We've known Jace for years. Besides, we're his patrons. If anyone is meant to speak up for him, it's us. We should hit them back. We've got the numbers to beat them. Yeah, let's teach them what it means to mess with us. Mm, will Vander agree to this? I highly doubt it, right? Like, you sure that's what you want? We crossed that bridge once before. We all know how that ended. I'm protecting our people. I'll do the same for any one of you. We look out for each other. It's the way it's always been, Boba. We just need to stand together. The Vander I knew, the one who built the underground, wouldn't be afraid to So fight. that's why they're following him, right? Because he built the whole place, like, from the ground up, probably. Do I look afraid? No. You look weak. Damn. Jeez, even Powder wants to fight. So why aren't we? Yeah, he knows. Echo knows. Spill it, Echo. Um. Okay. Well. Um. Vander's exactly. Vanda got a deal. Deal with the enforcers. But yeah, what is it about? That's the whole point, right? Like to keep peace, I guess. But for your birthday, counselor. Oh, Mel. This is too kind. I'm told it was built only for the sharpest of minds. Oh, oh, oh. And I bought you some ginkgo nuts. Ah, don't you know I'm allergic? What are you trying to do? Kill an old man?
Jace Talis. Oh, that's pretty cool. So they just use the light, right? And endangering the citizens of Piltover. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Look at that. The materials were far more dangerous than I was aware of. And I, I now know my actions were against Academy regulations. What I did endangered people. It was reckless, and for that I'm sorry. I ask the Council's forgiveness, and I hope that I can continue my studies. As Jace's patron of many years, hmm. I can speak Oh, to Caitlin's his mom is there. I believe that one day he will be a great contributor to our society. He destroyed a building. Is this the sort of contribution we can expect? If you were a scientist, you'd know you can't make a prototype without breaking a few wrenches. <laughs> nah. Do you have anything to show for your work? Good thing he has some uh, no. some protection in it some of them, right? Nothing. So you're saying your study was meaningless? It was revolutionary. Revolutionary how? Ooh, Four she's taking. She's taking Jace. Understand. The academy seems to have loosened its standards. This is a fine line. If we condone this, what's it's ridiculous? Next? Really? The council has more. Why is the academy? This is. Oh, he's got to snap. To create yeah, magic. Yeah, he snapped. Shit! He didn't listen to Heimerdinger. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. Magic. Arcane talents are something you're born with. They can't be fabricated. Actually, I believe it is possible. Has anyone even With the stones, tried maybe, right? The arcane is the curse of our world. My race was nearly destroyed by it. Surely we, the pioneers of science, can use it for good. We're the champions of discovery. Why hmm. fear it when we can master it? Yes, enough. This is the city of progress. Uh, is he taking his own grave right now? Let me prove enough. You don't understand what's at stake. But how can you? That's a burden that only I here carry. So because Heimerdinger probably tried it before, right? I've seen this power in the wrong hands. It corrupts, consumes, lays waste to civilizations. That cannot happen here, my boy. It must not. Heimerdinger is right. Piltover was founded to escape the warmongering of mages, not cultivated. Hmm. He must be banished from Piltover. A little bit extreme, maybe, but you know. Please let me speak. As a lower house, my voice doesn't carry much weight here. But as a mother, I have a voice that matters deeply. My son isn't in his right mind. Hmm. His entire life, he's chased an impossible dream. She saw it with his own, her what own eyes, right? Foolish, and and unwise. They were saved by by that but mage, right? A good heart. Please let him come home. A crime like this can't be overlooked. The boy must be punished. A violation of the ethos calls for banishment. But I can sympathize with a young man's dream to change the world. Perhaps in this matter, a lesser sentence may suffice. I move that Jace be summarily expelled from the academy. Oh shit, he's even getting, and getting expelled. To the care of his parents. All those in favor? Oh, it's the light. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So whenever they lift their hand and vote, yep. You may take your son home, Mrs. Tallis. But he is never to set foot on Academy grounds again. But I mean, Jace, I, I, he, I think he will do great things, right? We, like, I know the character from the game, so let's see how that turns out. Huh. Is is that enforced a double time dealing? I've been invited to Belaine's. It better be worth my time. Yep, 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 yes. Uh, you see, that's your weakness, Marcus. You carry your chin so high, you fail to see the opportunity below. Who are you? You're looking for four children. The ones who mm. circles around Pilgrim's Or maybe not. Finest. And what about it? 
No, don't look so concerned. I'm about to make your day. Hmm. Okay, so he's about to double deal. I thought he was doing it, but he's actually just like going there to get information, I guess. Can I come in? I still remember the look on your face when you found these. There's the hammer. Jace, please. If I hadn't spoken, you'd be lost to me. I had to say something. Magic saved your life. Yes. But it won't save yours now. You need to let it go. I could have convinced the council. If my own family won't help me, I'll find someone who will. Shit. So what Powder has with the crystals is pretty dangerous, actually. If dangerous ideas didn't excite Ooh, the imagination... Oh, Victor! Wait, 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 wait. I'm just gonna go back very shortly here. No, oh, that foolish boy. Yeah, I must admit, his theory intrigues. If that is, that is a uh, champion also, right? Victor. Could it work? Could these stones really invoke... Of course, with the, with the cane. Nonsense. It's far too unstable. Could you... Stabilize it? Me? Why would I? That only leads to more problems. And that poor boy has enough of them already. There. Come tomorrow morning, his research will be safely disposed of. Lock up. No, no, no. Magic is far too dangerous. To huh. Why why am I sitting here thinking like is is Victor? I remember him as being evil. But I don't know why I have this idea, but if that is the case, he will definitely take his, you know, stuff right now, right? But we will see. Let's go. Let's keep going. Let me live. Let me know. So what is this guy up to? Beautiful, aren't they? Yet up there on the surface. No one even knows they exist. What? No. No, no, it'll kill me. I'd like to let you in on a very important secret I learned when I was about your age, boy. You see, power, real power, doesn't come to those who were born strongest, or fastest, or smartest. No, it comes to those who will do anything to achieve it. It's time to let the monster out. Take it. Let the monster out. Shit. We saw what it did to the rat, right? They won't see you. Oh, you wait to Caitlin. Good now. My dad says you're a misfit. And that we can't be friends anymore. So why are you out here? I'm a misfit too, I suppose. What will you do? Join the Talus Hammer business, I guess. You can't do that. Hammer business. So that's why they're doing, like, he's I going can. with a hammer, right? Come inside, Caitlin. Now. I'm sorry. I just wanted to explain. I think you've done enough. Come on! It's not even his fault. Like, if Vi and Powder didn't show up there, that would you never have happened, right? Did they take anything dangerous? Hard to say. We don't exactly know what we did find, let alone what we didn't. This mention of magic has the people afraid. The culprits must be apprehended. We're doing our best, Counselor. I assure you. Your attitude makes me question if your best is up to the task. Oh, we'll find them. Don't worry. We've conducted exhaustive interrogations. 
Frozen commerce for half the district. With all due respect, Counselor, don't you think we've pushed them hard enough? Do whatever it takes. Turn the Undercity upside down if you have to. Just find them. Yeah, this guy likes it, right? Because he just made a deal with the bad guy. I think Vander has to come up with, you know, Welcome as I said, some thought, job. right? Here we go. What could I get you? Four sump rats will do. Search the place. While you're wasting your time, how about a proper drink? I'll take the strongest shit you got. The strongest shit. Oh, so they know now yeah, that they should get out or something, right? Oh, get out! Good. Like hiding under the floorboards or what? friend of yours <laughs> he had some stories you weren't always the peacekeeper were you yeah well you can't escape the past right Here's shame what did Vander do on again Oh, gloves, gloves, gloves! It's hard to clean. <laughs> you people down here are all the same. Mistaking arrogance for bravery. You think you're standing up for something? But we all know there is a crime behind every coin that passes through this place. You're just a small man in a little hole the world forgot to bury. And I'm gonna bury the lot of you. Whew, intense. You all okay? No, we're not okay. They almost saw Powder. What if they took her? No one is taking any of you. Never let that happen. It's already happening. You heard him. They won't stop. We need to fight back. Mm. And if you won't, I will. I've heard this kind of talk before. Tell them then why they shouldn't fight. Or better yet, tell us why we shouldn't fight. here you still don't understand what i don't understand is how you can work with them we were here we saw what they did i grew up most likely a very good reason right that my place is down there i want powder to have more than that and i'm willing to fight for it so was i i was angry just like you i led us across this bridge Thinking things could change. Ah, okay, so that is that is what happened back then, right? 
Your parents would still be alive. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, shit. Okay, so I that is the whole thing. Like he led, led right in a rebellion or something. But who are you willing to lose? Milo, Clagger, Powder. Yeah, because he's he's just afraid that you will lose someone on the way, Nobody right? Wins in war, Vi. What are we gonna do? The enforcers will come back. Most likely, and they will keep coming back. Oh, then. I'll figure it out. I think he needs to find some, you know, some thought and use that cylinder because they will keep looking for him forever, right? If he doesn't do it. Like, Vi and Powder really fucked Jesus' life, life up, right? <laughs> Holy shit. Wow, is he gonna... Was he, is he prepared to take his own, own life here? Am I interrupting? Good. Very good. The hell's your problem? What's that? Another list with my name on it? Actually, yes. But only because you signed your notes. Because Every Victor page. wants in on this. A little egotistical, don't you think? Is that why you came? To insult me? No. No, I was... I was intrigued by what you said at the trial. That makes you the only one. Yes, well, I wanted to talk <laughs> about your work. Why? Hextech theory of yours. It's not a theory. I saw oh, that's a, my That's a freaking cool name for it. The lives it could save. You've no idea how beautiful it is. And now it's gone. No one believed me. Hextech. That is freaking Nobody awesome. Believed in me. The poor cripple from the Undercity. I was an outsider the moment I stepped foot in Piltover. I didn't have the benefits of a patron or a name. I simply believed in myself. Which is why I'm here. Because I think you're onto something. I want to help you complete your research. Here we go. No one thinks it can be done. But they have to do it You're like, you know, in hiding, world. right? Don't ask for permission. Let's do it. I don't even know your name. It's Victor. Cool. Very cool. Vi, where you been? Rumor is the lanes are gonna fight. Oh, maybe not. Look, I made them for the enforcers. These are smoke bombs, and those two are full of nails. <laughs> They're gonna work this time. I know it. You know, Powder. She got him. What makes you different makes you strong. Always remember that. What the hell were you thinking? Going into the last drop. Do you have any idea what you've done? I was getting results. You heard the council. You're a fool. There is no stopping what happens now. Yeah, because he was trying to prevent what? Ooh, that is the one, right? Maybe it's not too late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. I hope Vander did something there. Just gonna tear every building apart until they find them, right? No, <laughs> please. 
episode two of Arcane, guys. Damn, I just want to keep going. Like, it's so good. Really, really good. Um, we meet two new characters this uh, this time. Uh, Caitlin and Jace, right? Like... And we also learn about Victor, which is just, it's just so awesome that it's characters that I already know from the game. It just makes it so much better. And um, they are, Caitlin and Jace are actually the ones that is on the other side of the door that Vi and Powder were, you know, raiding or uh, stealing from, right? Uh, which actually put Jace in a very, very bad position, right? Like, his whole life was just, like, ruined because they robbed him, right? Um, but, of course, he was experimenting with something really cool, like what he himself called Hex Tech, which sounds super awesome. And I'm guessing this is what um, the hammer he is carrying in the game is coming from, right? Uh, and... Um, it's going to be cool to see him and Victor actually, you know, uh, go on this endeavor together, right? It, it, it's pretty awesome and I like it so much right now. Um, and the whole reason behind this is apparently because Jace was saved by a mage together with his mom back when he was younger, right? And that is why he saw what magic can do and therefore um, he wants to see if he can harness it and build something out of it, which apparently is Hextech, right? Really cool, uh, and I like it a lot. Um, yeah, Jace goes through hell, right? Like, the, the council, he, he's even warned by Heimerdinger, and I think Heimerdinger actually likes Jace a lot, but he wants him not to speak about this magic thing, and yeah, he's just triggered in the council meeting, right? And And... You know, it, it was revolutionary, right, as he said himself. But this ends up being his downfall as he is like thrown out of the academy and cannot step uh, on the grounds anymore, right? Um, saved by his mom, actually. Uh, and and he, I think he was actually about to jump off the edge of the building and kill himself, right? Until Victor actually shows up uh, with his work in hand, right? Um, so this is going to somehow benefit Victor also, I have a feeling, right? Because as he said, he comes from nothing. He came from the Undercity actually, right? And just built him his, himself up, right? Uh, even though he's crippled and all that, right? But he's still doing a very good job. And I think this is the way for both of them to get out of the shitter, if you can say like that, right? Um. And then, of course, in the end, we have uh, what looks like Vi giving herself up uh, to save everybody, right? Because she feels like the Enforcers just, just kind of keep coming back and back and back uh, over and over again, right? Um, and since Vander is not doing anything about it, right? But as he said, you know, nothing good is gained by war, right? They found out last time and they lost Vi and Powder's parents, right? Uh, so that is why he is not gonna fight, but Vi took it upon herself and sent the cylinder to the Enforcer Captain, I think. Um, and she is now coming to get her, right? And she's just gonna sit there and she's probably gonna turn herself in uh, to save everybody, right? Um, that's my thought, at least. And then, what else? Oh yeah, and we also saw how uh, this uh, Silco guy, right? He gave this, like, drug or liquidy, purpley stuff, right, to this boy and said, you know, power comes to those who, you know, go for it, right? <laughs> and this guy just, like, drinks it up and starts to transform. We didn't see what he ended up being, right? Um, but still, I think he's gonna be crazy monster, right? Like, there's, we saw the rat, so <laughs> why not him, right? Anyway guys, awesome episode, not so much more from me, thank you for watching, thank you for following as always, see you next time, peace.